Hey guys, how are you? Thank you for stopping by my channel. I know I'm a little late, but let's talk about some of my favorite things for the month of April. Some things I've mentioned before, some things are probably, they may be new. Yeah, some of them are new. And I'm just gonna go through things. If you have any questions, leave your questions down below. And I would love to know what some of your favorite things are too. First thing, let's talk about something that I think is very essential and it just makes you feel good or it helps you stay feeling good, and that's vitamins. And I really like the Innate Skin. This is the Women's Multivitamin with Skin Support. I like taking vitamins that are formulated for a woman's body and having the skin support, all the better. It's, they're in a capsule form, so they, you know, they digest very easily without the stomach irritation or nausea that some vitamins can give. I do like these a lot. They made my March favorite, and they're back in April. Something that I did a review on a few weeks ago was my Rejuvalite MD. Still using it, still loving it. Still experiencing better skin from it. I'm gonna continue using it because who knows where my skin can end up going with this. I do like it, it's easy, so easy to use. It's kind of like the lazy person's way to better skin. I will leave the information down below as well as a discount code. Like it a lot. Now, Oh, it dropped everything. This has been mentioned before, but it re it deserves a repeat mentioning. My Foreo Luna, love this little guy. I just charged it last night for the second time in almost two years, and I use this daily. It's just been so good for my skin without causing irritation, and what I like using it with is my Purity Cleanser. You can see that it's down to about right here, and I've probably used this now for a good eight months, and I still have quite a few months left of it. Some people may say it's very expensive, but if you think about it and you're getting, you know, one, what is this, a 16 fluid ounce bottle that can last you a year, you know, it's not that expensive per use, but I like this combination together. Another thing that I have been using from the Foreo line is their toothbrush. I I'm a pretty aggressive brusher and I have to really work on that because I, you know it's damaging my gums and everything but this toothbrush I really like it it's got the same kind of silicone little bristle heads on here that the Luna has for your face you can't press too hard on it it doesn't cause any like gum damage it just feels good it's kind of massaging to the gum it it's just, it's an easy toothbrush and I have, I can go through toothbrushes pretty quickly because of how I, how I am. But I charged it again last night. I've used it for about six weeks, so it holds a charge for quite a while, but I do like this toothbrush. Okay, let's go on to something I know I haven't mentioned before, self-tanners. I've tried so many of them on the market and they either turn you orange or they stink or something like that, but I found one that turns you brown and it smells great. And this is by Dark Side. This has a scent that's very like almond with a little bit of cherry in it. And I mean, it smells great. It bronzes your skin right away. So it gives you an idea where you've applied the self tanner. And it also kind of gives you a gauge or a guide on the depth of the color that you're going to get. So I recommend using this with a mitt because it will stain the palm of your hands. It will stain the palm of your hands. I purchased this on Amazon. It's not that expensive, but it smells great and it works. Gotta love that. Okay, let's go to hair. This is something I haven't mentioned before, but I've been trying it and loving it. It's the Verb Ghost Oil. It's a very lightweight oil for your hair. It only takes two to three drops. I use maybe four or five because I have a lot of hair, but it just, like it absorbs so easily into your hair. And one of the main ingredients is, I think it's moringa or marula oil in here. It's got a, it's got a lot of the great oils in it. I don't even know. But it um, just absorbs into your hair without leaving that greasy feeling. And I do like this a lot. Got it at Sephora. Okay, I have mentioned this before, but I'm still loving my Prada Candy fragrance. It has a great caramel vanilla undertone and it just smells delicious. I do want to try the new Prada Kiss that just came out. Haven't smelled it yet but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty nice and light but this one 
I really like it. It smells great. I have a thing about vanilla and scents like that. Okay, a toner that I've been using that I know I haven't mentioned before, and I purchased this on Amazon, and is the PCA Skin Nutrient Toner. You only use this once a day. It has a fragrance to it that is very spa-like. It does not contain alcohol or witch hazel. It's just got some great nutrients. And for some people, if you have like maybe your skin's breaking out, this could help really clear up your skin quickly. I like it. Now, I did notice in the beginning when I used it that I had a, like I had like a, like maybe like a pimple that was trying to heal up or something. It did kind of sting a little bit or tingle. I don't want to say it was bad, but it went away very quickly. So you use this once a day and your skin just feels so clean and smooth without fe feeling tight or dry. I do like this toner. Okay, let's go to something else that I've talked about and loved. My Beauty Junkie Blending Sponge. This is just a good one. It's very soft, absorbent. It's really just easy and it cleans up so well. Mine's a little dirty right now because I used it earlier and I'm getting ready to wash everything tonight. But I do like the Beauty Junkie Blending these these sponges. They're great. Okay, let's go on to some makeup. A foundation that I have been using and really liking is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. Now, it, the first layer, if you're going to put it on, it can give you a light to maybe a light, slightly medium coverage, but it can be built up. I like one pump for my face and then I'm, I'm done. One pump and I'm done. I do like it. It's lightweight without looking like you got heavy makeup on, but it just kind of camouflages some of the imperfections and just makes your skin look healthier. I like it. Okay, bronzer. I wish they had a darker color in this, but it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and it smells like coconut. Like I said, I have this thing for scents, and I, if it came in a darker shade, I would be using it all around, but now it's getting summer, so it's a little light for me, so this would be something I would be using in the cooler months, that just to give some warmth to my skin. But I do like this bronzer a lot, and it's a drugstore. Okay, lipstick. I'm actually wearing this. This is by Urban Decay, and this is their lipstick in Rush. I think it's a beautiful color. It's not overpowering. It just feels nice on the lips without feeling dry. It just gives a little bit of sheen to it. I really like the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks and the sheer ones. I just, I think they're great lipsticks, and right now, Ulta and Sephora have like half price. So if you're looking for some lipsticks, you might give this a try. Okay. Eyelash primer. I'm a big eyelash primer person and I thought, okay, I'm going to try this one. I spent more money on it than I've ever spent on a eyelash primer and this is by Dior and this is called the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. It is a white liquid type gel type formula. It's got the rubber uh, brush handle, everything. I'm losing my thought process on these things. Now, when I first tried this, I didn't like it. So I thought, okay, I've spent enough on it. I better learn to like this thing. So after I tried it a few times, it took a couple of coats to get what I was really wanting, to get that lengthening and fanning out a little more volume. But now I really do like it. So I've been impressed with it. It wasn't in the beginning because I think it needed to just get a little air in it and thicken up a little bit so it wasn't as runny. I almost say runny. It just wasn't as, I like a thicker consistency. Let me put it that way. But this has been a lash primer I really liked. Okay, back to things I've talked about before. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I just, it's my, my go-to one for day, night, whatever. It just works great for me. It doesn't settle in lines. It just blends out beautifully without looking heavy under the under eyes, and it doesn't dry me out either. Okay, a couple more things. I'm going to know I'm moving fast, but hey, I've talked about this before. Benefits Dallas. It's a beautiful blush, kind of that deep rose plum. I just, I really enjoy it a lot, and I, you can see it has been used and loved tremendously. It's a great go-to blush for me, whether it's summer, winter, whatever. It just looks great. 
Another one that I've really liked has been by The Balm, and it's Down Boy. I love their packaging. I think it is so cute. I love the old kind of vintage look to it. This is a beautiful plummy pink type, and I don't know if the camera is really going to pick it up like it needs to be, but it's a beautiful, more natural looking flush look for your cheeks. I think it's beautiful. And it lasts a long time. All the all the balm blushes are great. Okay, a couple of eyeshadows and then we are done. I'm back. I love my Tarte Tartelette. I just think this is a wonderful palette. And the colors are beautiful. And the smell makes it so great too. I just love it. They're easy to blend, easy to work with, and you get a combination of mattes and shimmers in this. And it makes great eye looks. Another one that I've been trying now for a probably about a month and a half is the Smashbox. And this is the Photo Op Matte. This is a great, let me do it this way. Yes, it comes with a brush and it just fell out. This gives you so many different options to make a great matte eye. They're very blendable, easy to work with. I have really enjoyed them. So you could use so many different things and you can even use some of these as brow powders if you're wanting. But this has been a great palette. It's great for travel. Everything's right there. And I'm really into a lot of the matte shadows right now. And last but not least, and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, the Lorac Pro to go. Don't want to forget that part. It's got some great shadows in here. You know, you can just really blend them out. You've got your shimmers. You've got your mattes. And what I also like about it, you've got your blushes and you got a bronzer so it's easy to take with you in a nice little compact so I know I went fast on everything thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate each and every one of you and just to give you a little um, tidbit of what's going on in my life um, if you if you've watched my videos at all in the past you know that I had four dogs I thought I could get through it. On April 20th, I lost my Cocker Spaniel Baxter. He was 16, and I mean, I knew my time was limited with him, and um, he passed on April 20th. So I have three dogs now, my three big guys, but my little old guy, Baxter, is now with his girlfriend up in doggy heaven. He had his buddy down here, a dog that I had named Abby. It was a Collie Husky Shepherd mix that I had rescued too. And those two were inseparable. So the thing that gives me the most peace right now is I truly believe they are together. So, I'm sorry, I didn't want to do this. But I did want to tell you guys what was going on. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.